Hey, Madison, what's up? It's me. Uh, just seeing if you made it back from Boston, all right? If you have any news about Emma. Um, oh, uh, by the way, I got a hand in the lease today, so I'm gonna need your signature. Uh, I'll run by Fusion, see if I can catch up with you there. All right, bye. Hey. We need to have a little chat. Uh, can it wait? Not if you like your job. your fault. You know, Annie got spooked, but you'll find her again. If I hadn't have grabbed the phone from Hayward's hand... You wanted like, to hear Emma's voice. Yeah, well, I could hear her voice every single day as soon as I get her home and she's safe. It's... Look, thank you, um, for coming all the way up with me like that. I appreciate that. I'd do anything to help get Emma back. I just wish I could have made some kind of difference. You were there for me when I needed you. That's a lot. It is. I'm just gonna call the FBI and, and let them know that, that we're back. Okay? What? What? What is it? I'm fine. They don't tell you how bad heartburn can be when you're pregnant. You remember that time we went for Mexican food and you ate that habanero pepper? <sighs> Yeah, what did, what did Emma, what did Emma say? She said that I was gonna get heart hurt yes. if I kept eating it. Yes. Yeah. She laughed so hard at that face you were making, that silly giggle. <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, 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 it's, it's fine, it's... It's that laugh that keeps me going right now. It's, it's interesting as a, as a dad. It's really those simple things that become so incredibly precious. Well, you're, you're gonna find out for yourself. Soon enough. I should go. Hey, Madison. Don't go, not yet. I just, I wanna call the FBI and, and have them recommend a child psychologist in case Emma calls you again so that you're sort of prepared uh, as to what to say or? Yeah, I'm, I'm here whenever you need me. Hey, let me make you some breakfast or something. Something to eat before you... It was a long night. It's the least I can do. Uh, no, that's sweet. Thank you. I, I don't think my stomach's up for it yet. Right, because you are still in your first trimester, right? Right. Almost my second. Oh! What? Oh! Okay, you know what? That is more than heartburn. Can, can, can you sit down, please, and just take it easy? Okay. Just rest, okay? Uh, what happened? What did I do? You know what you did? You broke into the hospital server. That's not okay. You broke into the technician sonogram schedule. Would you try to get Madison an appointment at the top of the list? Don't deny it. It only makes it worse if you deny it. I'm... I know you did it because uh... I have cooperation. Okay, listen. L listen, listen. Let me... Let me explain to you. Um... <sighs> Madison, see, she, she was upset, okay? She was concerned about the baby, and she wanted the sonogram to make sure everything was okay. That's, that's all. You don't, no, you know what you do in that case? You pick up the phone. You get in line like everybody else. You make a phone call. Call me if you, but you don't break into the system. That is a violation of policy. That is instant termination. Okay, well, listen, Jake, all I was doing was helping Madison here. That, that's, that's all I was gonna do. Never, okay, I... You know how hard I've been working around here. I mean, I streamlined the IT department, right? I, I plug holes in the security system. Obviously not the holes related to sonogram scheduling. That's not funny. Not... Don't do it again. I know you did it. I'm letting you off with a warning. Thank this you. Time, next time? There's no next, next time. time. Next time? I got it. Thank you. Scott. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. Oh, I love how when you're all bossish, sounds like Scott got it. Wait, who are you calling? I'm calling Scott. No, don't, don't. I don't want to worry him about nothing. Madison, you're pregnant and you're having cramps. That's, that's not nothing. Well, they came and they went, but they're gone now. I'm fine. Don't call. Okay. Okay, but I'd like you just to hang out and, and take it easy for a little while, okay? I don't want you to go to work and, until I know that you're 100% okay. I appreciate that, but I'm fine. Come on, I'm feeling guilty enough as it is. I mean, I'm the one who dragged you up to Boston and made you hang out at the waterfront until the wee hours of the morning for a meeting that never happened. Look, you have nothing to feel guilty about. I wanted to help. 
All I've been able to do so far is answer a couple of phone calls from Emma. Wish I could do more. Are you kidding me right now? You've done so much more than that. I mean, you're the one Emma's been reaching out to. You, you're her friend. You're someone special in her life. That's why she feels safe with you. That's also why I know you're going to be a great mom to that little girl that you're carrying. You know, there's nothing in the world like a little girl. Is that Emma? No, it's Greenlee. I'm sure Greenlee wants to talk to you. Hello. Hi. Where are you? We just got in. I tried calling you before. I, th I thought you were still in Boston on some new lead. No, you, you probably were trying to call in while I was trying to uh, call Scott to tell him Madison's having some uh, cramps. Is she okay? She says she's okay. I am. I'm sorry about Emma. Next time. Yeah. Yeah, look, I don't want to um, tie Madison's phone up too long just in case Emma tries to call in, so we'll talk to you later. Sure. Love you. Do not. There are some really great ideas in here. I gotta get back to pulling those files. Hey, Greenlee, is uh, Madison here? Oh, no, she should be soon. I talked to Ryan. They just got back. Ah. They were out all night, huh? Yeah, but Annie never showed. Paying for a little bit. They should be here pretty soon. You seem to be pretty cool with all this. With what? Your husband staying out all night with his ex in a completely different city, and she happens to be pregnant with his baby. The only reason they left and went up there was to find Emma. That's all that matters to anyone right now. So, you are sure that you're okay? It's just reassuring to keep a hand here. Ah! Madi oh. Madison, okay, all right, ah. take it easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you to the hospital. Come on, we gotta go. Let's go to the hospital. So, um, when did Ryan and Madison become a big who cares for you? I'm just thinking about Emma. Whatever it takes to get her back. I find this whole thing ironic. I mean, you're more than happy to help Ryan find one of his kids. But then you'll do whatever it takes to keep him from finding out about that he has another. Madison doesn't want him to know. You told me that yourself. At least not yet. Maybe not at all. What? Are you... You want to pretend to be the father, like, for good? Isn't that what you want? I mean, you're the one who came to me in the first place. You wanted me to keep Madison occupied, away from Ryan, and you were very, very grateful when I stepped up and claimed to be the father of the child. Is that what you want? To be the baby's father from here on out? Look, I just, I want to help Madison, right? She says that she wants to be this independent working mother, but raising a kid on your own, it's a lot easier said than done. And what do you get out of it again? Well, regardless of our deal, I actually like Madison. And I, I want to help her through this. I want to be there for her, for her baby. And I don't know, maybe it's just me making up for all the mistakes I made that got me landed in prison, but it makes me feel good. You really mean that, don't you? Yeah. Wow. What do you know? What? I can really see a little bit of Stuart in you. <laughs> My dad, he set the bar pretty high. If I could just be half the man he was, then I think while he's looking down on me, he'd be... he'd be proud. But look, I... I don't know what Madison's gonna want, all right? But... I'll play along for as long as she wants me to. Nurse? Nurse, we're gonna need a doctor. Please, she, she's in pain. It could be the baby. Um, who's your OB? 
Uh, Dr. Cantor. Dr. Cantor, please, if she's available. She's not. Dr. Kim's on call. Oh, Brian, I'm scared. It's okay. It's all right. I'm going to get you seen right away. You don't leave me. Please. I'm not going anywhere. I can't believe in the middle of all this, I've got to get to the hospital sign paperwork. Madison should be here soon. Yeah, I just, I can't believe they came up empty-handed. I mean, but what we all need to remember here is that Annie, she loves Emma, and she would never do anything to hurt her. Yeah, but Emma should be with her dad. I just yeah. hope to God she calls again soon. Why do you think she keeps calling Madison? I don't know, but I'm just glad she's calling someone. It gives Ryan, it gives all of us the only shred of hope we've had to hang on to. Yeah. Hey. Mm. I hope Madison knows how lucky she is to have someone like you around. It's worked out for everyone, hasn't it? This is no cramping now, though. No, no, but they've gotten worse. Now, how many weeks along are you now? I think you said 11 weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, could you do me a favor? Could you go call Scott and tell him where I am and that I'm OK? Yeah, absolutely. I'll be right back. Thanks. Doctor, would it make any difference how far along I am? Well, yes, potentially quite a big difference. Why? Because I lied. I'm further along than I said. Whatever your reasons, you should have told me this before. I'm sorry. So how far along are you now, really? 19 weeks. 19 weeks? 19 weeks ago, Scott wasn't even out of prison. I'm the father. <laughs>